as we continue to celebrate this Christmas season, let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the Nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free. For ancient servitude holds, holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A couple of parish announcements, first of all. This coming Friday, January 1st, is New Year's Day. It is known as the Solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. And so Mass will be at 9.30 a.m. It will be the only Mass of the day this coming Friday, January 1st. It will be live streamed for the benefit of those who are unable to join us here in church. But again, the Mass time on Friday, January 1st will be at 9.30 a.m. Pre-registration will be required. This weekend, the only Masses that we will have open will be the 4.30 p.m. on Saturday and the 9.30 a.m. on Sunday. We are hoping to be able to restore the ma uh, begin restoring the Mass schedule by the weekend of January 17th. Daily Masses, again for now, will remain private with the minimum number of ministers needed and to, uh, to, to be able to celebrate the Mass, and mass, Daily Mass will be live streamed. We will resume Daily Mass with a congregation starting on Monday, January 11th. Due to the continued concerns over the COVID virus, some of our meetings and small gatherings may be a combination of Zoom or in person when the number of participants is less than 10 people. Before coming to anything at the parish, please check our website or call the office to confirm if an event will be on Zoom or in person. And speaking of the office, our office coverage will be minimal for the time being to prevent another outbreak of the, of the COVID virus. Please be aware that there, may, there might not be a live person in the office to handle your business when you call or stop by, but we will take care of everyone's needs as best as we can and as quickly as we can. Just an FYI to parishioners, because of the office shutdown during the outbreak of COVID in the parish office, Parish envelopes may be arriving to you a little bit later than usual. Please be aware of that. Until they arrive at your homes, you can use any, any envelope you have for your donation. Write your name on the envelope, and if you know it, your, your, uh, your parish envelope number. Again, apologies for that inconvenience, but again, parish envelopes should be arriving a little bit later than normal. As we gather here on this, uh, on this, for this midweek moment, doubtless we have all heard the phrase and heard the song, the 12 days of Christmas. Now for those who do not know, we are currently in the 12 days of Christmas. The phrase refers to the 12 days between December 25th and January 6th which traditionally had been known as the Feast of the Epiphany, or the Feast of the Three Kings. Like all important celebrations in our Catholic faith, Christmas is not just one day out of the year. For the rest of the secular world, Christmas is already but a memory. So for the secular mindset, Christmas ended the moment the clock struck midnight on the evening of December 25th, and entered into December 26. Radio and television stations are no longer broadcasting holiday music or shows. The shelves on the stores have gotten rid of their Christmas items and moved on to the next holiday, which of course is New Year's, New Year's Day. And in some cases, we may already be seeing Valentine's Day items on the, sh on the store shelves. And so for everyone else, the world has already forgotten about Christmas for this year. But that is not so for us who celebrate the Catholic faith. We are in the days of Christmas. And so for us, we are still singing Christmas carols and celebrating the mystery of the Incarnation. 
We are still in Christmas mode as we celebrate the days within the Christmas season. Again, traditionally, the Christmas season lasted for 12 days between December 25th and January 6th. Today, however, the number of days within the Christmas season can vary because the Feast of the Epiphany is no longer celebrated on January 6th, but instead celebrated on the second Sunday after December 25th, regardless of the date. But why do we do this? Why do we prolong a celebration? It is not only so that we can go countercultural, telling the whole world that Christmas is not just for one day. Rather, it is for the simple reason that we recognize that a great mystery has been revealed to us, and it takes more than one day to allow that mystery to unfold and to take hold of our lives. Every event of great importance in our faith takes days to celebrate. The custom of prolonging a celebration is actually an ancient one. Even in the time of Jesus, major celebrations were never for just one day. Wedding celebrations, for example, oftentimes would last anywhere from three to seven days. And every day during the, cel the, during the wedding celebration, the host is expected to provide food and wine for all of his guests. Religious festivals would be the same and celebrated for a period of several days. On a practical level, the reason might have been due to the fact that guests had to travel from long distances and it would have been highly impractical for them to travel for days and days only to stay at an event for a 24-hour period and then begin the journey back home. But on a more spiritual level, the reason for the prolonged celebration was simply an emphasis on how important the festival is that is being celebrated. Such is the case for Christmas and why it is almost two weeks long for us. The mystery of the Incarnation, God becoming human, is so important for us that in the prayer for this day, we pray that the newness of the Nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free. It is interesting that the church would emphasize the, new, the idea of the newness of the nativity, even though it is an event that took place over 2,000 years ago, and we have been celebrating that event for so many centuries. We are called to look back at the birth of Jesus with fresh eyes and see how new it actually is. And one of the ways we can do this is simply by taking days to celebrate the mystery of Christmas, rather than having it last for only 24 hours, after which we erase it from our minds until next year. And the church today celebrates the mystery of Christmas starting on December 25th, and the Christmas season does not end until the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, which usually is the Sunday after Epiphany. So in some years, depending on when dates fall, we are practically celebrating Christmas for almost three weeks. As we gather during these days of Christmas, let us never forget the impact that the Incarnation has had on our lives. We are different people because of God becoming human. God chose to become one of us so that we might learn to become more like God. God chose to make his home with us so that we might remember our place in God's house. May the days of Christmas continue to live Jesus in our hearts forever. Let us again conclude with a prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We pray, O Lord our God, that the Virgin Mary, who merited to bear God and man in her chaste womb, May commend the prayers of your faithful in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.